coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Washington Commanders and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I tell you what, CD, this Washington defense, very strong in the victory last week. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try to keep your quarterback upright. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. And the Rams at two and four here in the first half of the year. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. He'll look to throw. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Up the middle they go. McNeil. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Bobby McCain here, the one who brings him down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. That'll be caught. It's Cup, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That catch, by the way, number 542 in his NFL career, that draws him level with Lance Allworth, who was a Hall of Famer with the Chargers back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, the man they called Bambi. So if you're in... And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Getting into the act on the opening drive here with a sack. And remember, they had five last week. And they saw that on film, and that meant that they had to get together. Offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, offensive line coach, receivers coach, and say, how do we beat? Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. A part of why they came into this week with a winning record is that they feed off of mistakes like this. And now it's a prime opportunity. Just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they were already the underdog in this one. They just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense if you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. For the play fake, and now here's how to throw it. And the man open here is strong. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A gain there of 21 yards. First 
Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr., his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. He'll drop to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain, and the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. A tough adjustment to the NFL throughout his rookie season, and his problem with turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half, and he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. Gets it to Strong. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. On the counter, this is Robinson. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. Six nothing our score after one. Now on second and thirteen, Powell left side by Robinson and he's going to be brought down at about the 16. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time and sometimes against that you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Now meanwhile a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And that is no good. He pulled it just a bit, just a wee bit wide left. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. I'd say it's a pretty good strategy. If you throw interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, let's see if the running backs can handle the ball a little bit, get things going, and also, you motivate your offensive line. I think they're in the mood to fire out and hit someone. Uh, I thought the defense, though, might be a little more prepared for that run. Pretty good gain on the ground. On second down, McNeil, and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 
Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Back to throw now on first down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. They go play action here on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. McNeil. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. 49 yards on the ground for him so far. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third down, McNeil. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Powell out of his own end zone. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw from his end zone, Howell. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone, I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. A great play there with touchdown number 12 on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're
trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Let's go. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Out there set and ready for this next drive. The Washington offense. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game. So probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game. And down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. Got this complete to Jahan Dodson. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dodson, 34 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further well Charles he's still a young signal caller in this league second year in the NFL but I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass I think you're right about that we're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read he recognized that they were all over that so he continued to survey the field picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. 
And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Up the middle they go. McNeil. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. 93 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And that would complete to Skoranek. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. This will wind up a loss on the play. And that will bring up fourth down. So now the Rams send out the field goal team here. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left half. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Past the 20. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the year. And the Commanders take the block field goal and convert it into six points. So a pretty wild turn of events there. Instead of a sure three points, it's six the other direction. And if you're kicking in the NFL, that should be pretty much automatic. But I don't think that's on him at all. The protection broke down. That led to the block. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been. But, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. 13 yards there at a Washington first. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. But oftentimes, you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Faking the handoff, Howell. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. 
And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets its offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. Al down to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Second down and a run by Robinson. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Donald Parham, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. 108 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Looking to throw. Open man is Skoranek. He's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. They'll try the left side. McNeil, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll find Higby open downfield. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a gain of 34. On play action, they'll throw. This is caught. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, 
If you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side if they stay aggressive because you know they want to pitch this shutout. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Extra point attempt here still to come. And the lead drops from 34 to 27. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. A pretty decent gain on the tough run before he's brought down at the 25. 103 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. It's so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football is all about. A true team game, and they got it done in this one. So for Washington, the win moves him up to 5-2 now on the year.